tune. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Good morning. <laughs> morning, morning. Well, and evening in Good Australia, evening. obviously, for Cindy. So I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it, girls. We are live. Please do not swear. I'm Davina. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. So anyway. <laughs> so we'll good evening. Yeah, we'll try our very, very best to be on our best <laughs> As I say, it's it's kind of an introduction to myself, really, rather than anyone else. But hey, you know. <laughs> so hello, everybody. Good morning. We are the Blooms. Well, we're three of the Blooms. And um, oh, look who's on. Cindy's got a Henry. special guest. Henry. Love him. Yeah. He so it wouldn't be. In. It would not be a Bloom's meeting without Henry, would it? Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> love him. Love him. I'm, I'm quite sure that I'll have Tilly pretending to be a sculpture later. It'll be fun. She loves to just... Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> what a life like. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, you know, I just say Steve's added um, the uh, electronic things, you know, so she moves around. So very, very lifelike. Cool. So, hey, everyone, anyway, we've come here to tell everybody about the Blooms and our art show, which I have very conveniently got a nice little strip below telling you of the dates because I forget the dates that's below and telling you where you get your tickets. So we don't need to go on about that. That's there for everyone to see. But that's what we're here to tell you about. We've got a brilliant show coming up this weekend. How close is that? excellent and this is the fourth in the series of introducing um, the artists so that everybody gets to know us a little bit better before you come along to the show and um, today I'm going to start with Cindy. I like to scare them and actually just suddenly announce their names so that it's <laughs> Jesus. So we're going to start with Cindy who as you can see is surrounded by her fabulous art and I'm going to scare her even more and I'm going to put her big on the screen. Oh, no. No, no, yeah, no. <laughs> there you go. Woo, it's so good. We don't need to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and also, I have to say, you've got your tiger there as well because you I have a put him up. You have a connection with tigers, don't you? I do. They are my yeah passion, my love, Excellent. my passion. Yeah, everything. So that's why we get on then, because I was born in the year of the tiger. I know, and I wasn't, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you're jealous, but you know, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, Absolutely. Cindy, tell us about your art, because your art is always so colourful. I love it. And as you know, your sea turtle um, actually was my inspiration for me producing my sea turtle. So we yes, inspire yes, each other, which is also brilliant. But tell us a bit about your art. Um. I paint animals and I paint them um, in whatever way speaks to me at the time. So some days they will come out looking like more like a photograph, more realistic, mm. and other days they will come out in the colours that I see them in. It's mm. like the colours just, yeah. So okay. I've often wondered that. you're going to get a green gorilla because that's, just what comes to me when I'm start to paint and yeah or a pink koala or yeah excellent so it's yeah it just speaks to me the color so it's interesting because I've often wondered because sometimes like I think you've been doing a giraffe recently haven't you yeah. and that's kind of more realistic and I thought then oh I wonder why I wonder wonder yep. why but just that's the way it speaks to you today that's yep. what you're gonna do cool yep exactly that and do you do watercolours, acrylics, oils? What do you use? Um, watercolours and acrylics. I okay. use both. Um, the tiger, whoop, up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, he is acrylic, um, but the ones here are actually watercolour. Okay. So, yeah, I use both. Just depends on the day um, and what takes my fancy. Okay, so you really do feel into it. It's like, what do you feel like yep. doing today? Yep. Okay, so if someone commissions you to do something, is that more difficult for you? Like, like if I said, right, I want you to do a commission of my cat and I want you to do it like this, would you have to say, well, I can't do it like that because I just don't feel it, to be honest? What would you do? I have, I've only done a few commissions, I'll confess, uh, not very many. Um, and, yeah, probably 
because of that, um, I can do what they ask and I have done that quite successfully, but I find that I can't give them a definite timeline. Whereas like I can say, okay, this one takes me this many hours to do no problem. Um, but when I'm forced to do things mm. in a certain way, it takes longer. Yeah. Because if I'm not feeling it, I won't paint it because mm. it's not going to come out as good as if I wait till yeah. I'm in the right space to paint it. So, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's the same with a, a lot of artists, isn't it? Yeah. When you, you get a commission and you sort of think, okay, I need to, like, build up, um, so not courage, but build up the emotional connection with that piece. Like, Mm. And it does take time. Yeah. Where, whereas when you paint your work for freedom of you being able to paint what you want to paint, you're able to leave part of yourself as the artist in that piece. And mm -hmm. then that's what the yep. people, when they come and look at your work and say, oh, I'd really like that. That's lovely. That's beautiful. But I'd like a commission. And here's my cat that died 10 years ago. <laughs> and you sort of think, oh. Yeah. It's a whole different feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it's a it different... is. Yeah, you. Yeah, and you described it really well. You, yeah, you need to work up that connection to it. Like, um, I feel really connected to the pieces that I do, which is mm. probably why I take so long to actually get them ready to the point to sell. <laughs> so I paint them all, and I have them there, but I'll won't do things like I won't finish off the hanging on the back or I um, won't finish off um, the three layers of wax that I give them to seal them. I'll put, you know, one or two layers on and then leave them sit. Right. It's like I'm not ready yet to. Yeah. It's not finished them. yet. Yeah, yeah, not finished exactly. yet. Yeah. So I can't do that. <laughs> I think so, it's, yeah, just working into the right timing of everything it, it's yeah. all about that yeah yeah timing it's, of when you're right to yeah it's yeah, funny isn't it because i know um i don't do huge amounts of commissions but for the same reason that it takes me an awful long time to do them but mm. the um um the lovely dog milo that i did was my last commission and what was what the um the couple who asked me to do it loved and unfortunately he'd passed away in real life was I had him half completed on my desk and for months and every morning I'd go morning Milo and I'd carry on <laughs> and I said to her I talked to him every day and she yeah. said thank thank you for that and it's like yeah it's weird isn't it but I do see it and it's like you need to have that connection and once you get yep. that connection you're like now I can carry on so uh, exactly yep Okay, so Fiona's asked a um, question, which is, do you work on paper or canvas or both, Cindy? And uh, by the way, M Michelle's also here, by the way, Michelle Grant. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> and Fiona. <laughs> um, yeah, I work on both. So the tiger, mm. the acrylic, I work naturally straight onto canvas with my acrylics. Um, my watercolours, I actually prefer to paint onto uh, watercolour paper, but I wrap that around um, stretcher bars so it makes a watercolour paper canvas. Oh. So, yeah. So that these sounds... are um, like canvas edged. Like, oh, you know. right, yeah. But that's paper, and, you say? That's paper, yeah. Nice wow. and tight, like a drum, like canvas. That's amazing. By the time I put them on, yeah. Um, I find that works, yeah, really well for me. Mm. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's what good. I like to do. Yeah, I mean, it looks like, to me, when it's like that, as I always say, um, from my point of view, having not really painted, I would just assume that was canvas until you yeah. told me it was paper, which is brilliant. Love that. Yeah. Love that, and I love your waxing that you do on it too, because I'd never heard of that until you were saying about the old waxing it's, business. It's a fabulous finish. It just makes the colours more intense and seals it up. It yeah. means that you don't have to put glass over it, which is the traditionally what you had to do with watercolour. You didn't have yeah. a choice. You had yeah. to put them behind glass, um, and now you have a choice. Like I mean, you can still frame up the canvas and put glass in front of it if you want to but you don't have to at all yeah it's safe it's protected and yeah yeah I love that 
I love that because yeah. all the watercolors I've got are behind glass and I hate that because it it's a barrier isn't it it's a barrier mm -hmm. between you and that piece and uh yep. yeah I absolutely yeah and I think also the thing you said about um your art and the connection and everything and the you produce a piece that you feel completely connected to and then someone to, but what I also love is that when when I look at um the um your primrose your koala or your or, or even the tiger I see something different than you saw and I love that because yeah. I love that it carries on the conversation with the piece carries on and that's why I can understand you. you're doing that I'm not prepared to let it go yet because someone else this is going to live differently in someone else's life because they're not going to see it the same way as I do and it is almost okay and now you yep. may grow up and leave home <laughs> exactly that, exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's important to find a good home for them too. I think I might be a little bit picky. <laughs> Is that no, I, mean, I don't think you so. Know, if people don't show the right sort of interest in the work, I'm I'm reluctant to talk to them about buying it. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, you know, yeah. If I they get just it. want, you know, if they're not talking about like treasuring the art or yeah. loving the art. Yeah. Um, itself, I yeah. feel a little bit protective. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, I think it makes perfect sense. <laughs> mm. And I would expect any artist to be like that. Yeah, but we probably are all the same. I'm probably shouldn't we? Silly one shouldn't we? Out, out loud. Yeah, no, but I don't. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> bringing it all out today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, I love it. Love it. So I, I think it's hard when you've when you've put so much of yourself into that piece, and someone comes along and say, says, "That is fabulous. I really love that. I'd really like to buy that. It's going to match my curtains perfectly." That's when your heart sinks. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It absolutely sinks, and then you sort of think to yourself, "Right, am I going to sell this to you?" And then I have to wait. Personally, I have to wait for that fact. Well, I need to buy more canvases. I need to buy more paint. Exactly. But you really don't deserve this as much as I want you to deserve it. <laughs> you love it as much as I've loved painting it. But then you, it opens up a conversation and you can yeah. say, well, actually, art doesn't have to match your surface or furnishings. You yeah. know, art can be the centerpiece. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have to match. But I yeah. think that's one thing we've got to get across to a lot of Educate. people yep. is saying, you know, it will look beautiful in your home. And it doesn't matter what colour your walls are or what yeah. colour your soft furnishings are. Absolutely. If you love it, it will look perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it is all about that. It is about them finding the art that they love, like a piece that actually speaks to them that they love. That's what we, yeah, yeah. that's what we want. And you can see it in their eyes when they're talking to you when they feel like that, yeah. can't you? You go, exactly. yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's okay. You got yeah. the look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So you have someone saying, you have um, Bronnie Princess, and I can't pronounce new when who is. So I can't pronounce that name. Anyway, she's saying, hi, Cindy. Hope you're well. Bronnie. Right. Oh, okay. I apologize, oh, well. Bronnie, for not being able to say your name. Yes. Yeah. I can't say her name. Hi, Bronnie. <clears throat> Bronnie, you'll have to inform us and you have to come to the show, come into my room and tell me how to say your name. There you go. <laughs> yeah, come join us, Bronnie. It'll be yeah. a load of fun. You'll be yeah. able to sit around like this chatting with us um, yeah. in real life. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be lots of fun. Yeah. Come I mean, th that is the great thing, isn't it, about the show is that this is what it's like, which is exactly. we have people down the side here chatting and in fact normally where you are <clears throat> would be our show reel playing and then we would just yep. all be chatting about it or not or if someone just wants to sit and watch they can too and, you know because there's always someone who just likes to listen isn't there yep. <laughs> not yep. me obviously but you know <laughs> 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 but we all know that <laughs> it was quite funny I had um I did actually have uh, an angel card reading with Mac who will be at our show and she will be oh, cool. um, offering things and one of the things bearing in mind the conversation we just had one of the things which came up which is was that I need to listen deeply I thought I just need to listen to be honest <laughs> I love that story. I love it. So there you go. I thought quite accurate. 
<laughs> is that Max on? Yeah. Oh, so Cindy, what, Cindy, do you find that you need to disconnect to some extent before you're ready to sell? That's what she's saying. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily I'd call it disconnecting, but I do need to get to that stage where I'm ready to part with it. So, yeah. Um, okay. Because I have, I have some pieces that are probably mm, – I have one piece in particular that is um, about three and a half years old oh. that I have not put out or shown oh. out there at all because I'm not ready yet. Right. Yeah. You don't even want people to look at it? No, not yet. Oh, I like, I'm so, excited now. I want to see it. <laughs> the, painting, the painting is finished and done, but, yeah, I'm not ready. Wow. So, yeah. But wow. sometimes it's good just to paint for yourself. Yeah, Not everything absolutely. you create needs to be sold. Mm. That's correct. Yeah, exactly. Very true. Yeah, very true. Yeah. I, I have a, a slight feeling this may be one of those pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's mine. <laughs> because, yeah, I just don't want to. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm scared if I put it out there, somebody will want it. And, yeah. Yeah, as much as I. Yeah, no, you can always put. And not for sale or sold sign on because um because yes, interestingly you know my um kestrel which I still have here even though it has sold yeah. but actually what has happened is the person who has bought it is almost become like um, my patron as in they want me to have this to be able to show everybody oh how awesome they want me to not sell it so they want me to take it around so they've bought it but they've left wow. it with me. I mean, wow. unbelievable. But you think how, because it did take me hours. It was a labour of love. Yes. And how yeah. nice that somebody saw that mm. and did yeah. that. So sometimes I think we do actually get that across. So, I mean, your piece that you don't want to sell, you can almost say, oh, I'm sorry, but, you know, it has been bought as a just, you know, it's a, my patrons bought it or this is my piece, which is just here. It's not for yeah. sale, you know, so... Oh, Michelle says put $50,000 on it. That'll do it. <laughs> Way to go, Michelle. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Oh, Bonnie I think, says, that, I yeah, think that was an offer from Michelle, actually. Yes, I think, I think that was. It. No, I'm sure it was. Sold, Michelle. Sold. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, and also, oh, Bronnie says I was pretty close with that pronunciation. Wow. There you go. Thanks. So, Thanks. well, cool. Oh. Bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't even speak English properly. Anyway, right. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Oh, Elisa's on saying hi. Hi. Um, yeah. And Julie's on. Is who? Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. The girls are here. Hi, the girls are here. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So I love it. So yeah, we look forward to seeing that piece because that's got me wondering what that piece is. Yeah. Mm. Ah, I like it. <laughs> So, uh, so for the show um, this weekend, um, Cindy, the pieces around you um, yep. are obviously going to be available. Um, yep. Are you going to have any other pieces that we haven't seen, or oh, yep, hopefully. okay, hopefully, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're still wet on the canvas or paper. Or? Well, they're not wet as such, but they're not completely sealed or anything yet. Okay. So yeah, I've got this week to finalise them off, and yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Elisa's oh, liking the koala. That's petunia, yep. Yeah. Oh, I called her primrose. I'm sorry. That's what am I calling a primrose for? It's yellow. That's all right. God, I wonder about myself sometimes. I really do. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. She doesn't mind. She doesn't get offended. It's all right. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's cool. She's just, she's just happy to put out the plight of Australia's koalas out there. So, yeah. yeah. Actually, I should. I should tell everybody, um, she, where is she? She's over that way. Um, she is actually going to be on um, uh, charity uh, Christmas cards this oh. coming Christmas um, to help the plight of the Australian koalas. Right. Um, because the koalas are in yeah. quite a, a sad Did way at the moment. The numbers are very poor um after the last lot of nasty fires that we yeah. had and everything um yeah and there's been a lot of um they've required a lot of uh, those that survived required a lot of medical attention and a lot of care and everything Blessing. um 
There are some that still have not made it back to the wild as yet. Uh, they're still needing care. Um, I met a couple of them um, uh, just before our latest lockdown because um, uh, I don't know, I probably haven't told everybody yet, but um, I actually volunteer um, at uh, the local zoo here. Mm. And uh, we had a behind the scenes day um, where we got to see where the new koala hospital is going to be built at the zoo, uh, at my local zoo um, oh, over cool. the next couple of years. Um, and that's been built uh, partially by the money from the, the zoo raises from memberships, but also by um, RSPCA uh, paying for part of it as well. As cool. well as um, I think there might be some grant money going in as well from the government, but that's only minor, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I've got that part quite right, but um, they decided to build the koala hospital there because um, of all the work that the vet hospital that that the zoo was doing with the koalas um, over this last uh, terrible uh, bushfire mm. um, uh, season that we had. Uh, where we had, uh, yeah, uh, uh, a lot of uh, very injured uh, uh, animals. Um, yeah. In particular, the koalas uh, suffered badly. So. It's interesting, isn't it? Because yeah. I hadn't realised how long-term the impact is, and we don't because mm. we see the news headlines of the big, and we, oh, my God, it's horrific. And then, of course, there's another news headline, which happens to be this pandemic at the moment. But actually, mm -hmm. yeah, the koalas in, and that, so... I'm going to have to um, make a koala, aren't I? I think to um, help with that. I, I think, think you will. Yeah, I think absolutely. I might have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And and also that, in fact, um, Elisa just said preserving your wild the wildlife is a real mission. Absolutely, it yep, is. Absolutely. Um, and that is actually a segue also into Sammy, who's also done a painting about the fires, yes. haven't you, Sammy? I have. Yeah. Did, Sammy. yeah. Um, a little switch here. <laughs> yeah so um this show i'm i'm showing work that i've um created over the our uh, lockdown period from it's it's from a journal i write a journal so from january um 2020 to december and from the journal i've then written essays and then from those essays, I've created pieces of work, which I'll be showing for the first time together at the Blooms. Um, so a couple of pieces were seen at our January event, but this is the first time they're all going to be together. But one of those pieces actually was about the wildfires in Australia, which mm -hmm. didn't make the news on UK TV until January of 2020. Mm. Mm. But when I was reading up about it, the wildfires were starting in May of 2019, but we weren't getting any of the news. Um, so I've done a, a mixed media piece about that. And I've um, created some animal figures in the piece out of black resin, ink resin. And so um, you might be able to spot a kangaroo, a lizard running across, a koala trying to climb up the tree. And then right at the end of last year, we had a small piece in the news about some of the regeneration starting to happen um, where the fires had happened and new shoots of growth and everything. So I've done a very colourful piece of mixed media art again with the animals involved, but it's very different from the first piece. Mm. But that's what I'll be showing is um, just like a, a painted diary of the year, really, mm. and, and, and how it affected me and my thoughts and feelings towards it. But I'm an abstract artist, so um, there aren't really pretty pictures, but it is some pieces. Well, yeah, no, I think it's all beautiful in different yeah, ways. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. 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 I mean, to find pretty. <laughs> it's yeah. like, yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> I mean, that's, um, I, I love um, abstract art, but I also need to, um, I think we said this before, some people like to not hear the story and just engulf themselves in it. I like to hear the story from the artist so that I have an in and then mm. I in, do my own interpretation. But um, mm. I immediately was attracted to your 
um, the regeneration of the animals. I mean, I know I have the collection with animals and everything as well, but that immediate to me with the colours and everything. And I think it's the hope, isn't it? It's the mm, hope which is coming out of it and everything. And I, yeah, I saw that and went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like that like that oh what's everyone but i can't share pictures this morning because i've set it all up mm. ready for friday and if yeah. i move a piece something's gonna fall yeah <laughs> <laughs> no keep them waiting make them come to the show and see it that's what i say but i have been on instagram and on my facebook page i've been putting a couple of pictures of mm. oh what's uh -oh. involved and they website they are little um, pieces that we put on there, can't they? Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So, yeah, talking about coming to the um, show and everything, I think um, I think we should bring our special guest on just so we, he can join in the conversation. I say he because we yeah. call him Bosley, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring him in. There he is. I'm in the show. Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, hello, Bosley. Ladies. Good morning. Hi, Good morning. Bosley. Yes, Bosley here. Bosley here. Hello, my angels. For those, of you, for those people watching and listening that don't get the uh, the link, of course, Charlie's Angels, all those those uh, those shows of our youth, um, and of course, Bosley was the the bumbling idiot that had to keep them all going, keep them all together, <laughs> keep them all functioning properly. So that's my that's my sort of uh, aim is to keep all these Bloom's Angels functioning properly. Uh, but they don't need much help from me, really. It's it's a fantastic way of being involved with the show, really. Mm. And it, it is. I mean, I can speak now from purely an outsider from the Bloom because I'm only allowed into the the fold, what I call the frilly fold, um, oh, a couple oh, of weeks. Oh, <laughs> we can't use that a couple word. of weeks no. before the event. The, the, I'm war the, sort of, the warriors fold. Warriors. How warriors many times fold, yeah. do we have to tell you? <laughs> I'm I'm that sort of little speck of testosterone amongst all this other that's going on. But it's great fun. It's great fun because it gives me a chance to uh, not only be a part of the event but also to see new art. And that's what I love doing. And over the last couple of years, since uh, the Bloom sort of started up, um, well, last year, it seems longer, um, it's given my appreciation of art a huge lift because I didn't realise some of the art forms that I actually could be subjected to and loved. So, <laughs> well, no, I mean, to. What you know are what you I mean? <laughs> in a so nice done. way. Now I know um, why we don't let you on that often. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's allowed in a week are, before, and we think that me. week is a bit too long. It's a bit long. I think we need to let the shoulder <laughs> down. Oh, you see what I mean? This is what happens. They just <laughs> go on and on and on. Well, and all our listeners are agreeing. We've got <laughs> Michelle <laughs> saying... Them are fighting words. We've Don't got worry. Uh, Mac going frilly, frilly. Don't worry, ladies. <laughs> I, I get this big boot put on my head, yeah. so I'm I'm completely <laughs> under control. Yeah. But it is me when you visit the Bloom show. Uh, it is me you'll see first of all, unfortunately, because I am the host. Because all these all the artists are in their studios, obviously wherever they are in the world, preparing to meet and greet the guests we get. So I just have to make sure that everybody that arrives at the show is in a suitable frame of mind. They're, they've got their cup of coffee ready, their gin, their gin and tonic. They've got, they've got, and they're also prepared to be at the show longer than they thought they would be. Yeah. This, is the thing. this is the thing. People think, oh, I'll just nip to the Bloom show and have a quick look around. You can't have a quick look around. It is so incredible to be able to visit all these studios around the world to meet the artists, to find out about their processes, to look at the art, almost touch it because it's being shown to you on canvas there that you need longer because once you get into conversation with the artists, and I, I joked about being subjected to art earlier on, but no, I, I've been opened, I suppose, to the different art. And once, you, like Sammy's abstract art, and the fact that you can do a gorilla, I mean, who would have thought? And it works. And I found that I spend a lot of time looking at it now, different art on Instagram, and when you come to the show, you will want to spend longer than you think with a particular artist or all the artists because you're being opened up to a new art form you hadn't seen before. So give yourself plenty of time. That's one thing I'd tell everybody. Uh, get yourself comfortable. 
um have a laugh because it's not it's not serious art showing the fact that it's like going to an art gallery where everything is very austere very serious and qua qua and all that it's not that at all you're having a chat with an artist you're having a bit of fun you're having a chat you're having a laugh and this is the the thing that makes the bloom show so unique above above other art shows you'll find the very flat art shows online is that it's real you're meeting people and talking to them and looking at their art as if you were having a chat. If you pop around to their studio, you're having a chat. It's just like that, except that you can't travel thousands of miles to Melbourne um, or over to Canada. Uh, so you're able to do that by the virtue of the, the unique way, and it is a unique way, that we use Zoom. And you may think, oh, I'm all zoomed out. I don't want it to. It's very, very different to the I way. Like, I like my new description of that. Which oh, is, about the Louvre. Yeah. yeah. It's like the Louvre being at the NEC because yeah. we just use Zoom as a platform. That's and a the moment point. you come inside, you're in our world, in our mm. galleries, and um, you meet us and forget Zoom and, you know, the work and the, oh, yeah. But no, well, it's Zoom's brilliant. mainly known, or it was mainly known for, the, uh, for yeah, business meetings and that sort of and thing. It's a, Brilliant, brilliant facility. It's like all yep. tech. It's a brilliant facility, but we use it in a completely different way. You Absolutely. can move around from room to room, mm. wherever you it's want. Difficult, it's it's difficult to explain, different. isn't it, to everybody how that mm -hmm. works, but you've got to come along and experience it because once you yes. experience it at the first Bloom show you'll come to, you want to sign up for the next one and the next yeah. one and the next one because yeah. each time you come, you're going to see a new body of art from the artists. Mm -hmm. They are working specifically to provide a new body of art for each of the Bloom show. So as we've just had said by both, both Sammy and Cindy, there are pieces of artwork that haven't shown yet. And the only time that everybody will get to see them first is at a Bloom show. So, you know, what better what, what better reason to come along? And also it's worth saying that although we have three different um, sessions, the link is the same for all of them. So like if you suddenly realize you can't come to the session you've booked, don't worry, come to one of the other sessions, the links will work. And if you come and think, oh my God, I want to come back. Of course you can come back. Mm. <laughs> just yeah. use the just link. Slip, just slip Bosley a five, you can come back anytime <laughs> you want. But seriously, if you're, a, if you're a bit of a technophobe, or you think you're a bit of a technophobe, then put that out of your mind altogether because the idea is I will guide you through how to get from room to room. Mm. We have a guidance room. So I can put you straight away, if you've never used Zoom before, I can put you into the guidance room. There's a lovely show reel playing where you can see how to go from room to room and you'll think, blimey, this is easier than I thought. And then I'm always in reception, so you can nip back to see me at any time if you've got a bit of an issue, if you want to find out more about how you do this, that and the other. But quite honestly, very few people have to do that because once they're set on their trail, that's it, they're off. There, although, some people come back because they love to see me. I was going to say, some people like you Sammy's to choose mom, who really. they're going. Yeah, they, for some people like you to choose who they're going to next, don't they? Oh, they yeah, like you yeah. to guide them, and so yeah. they come back to you and go, "Who shall I go? Just surprise me, send me somewhere else, and things like yeah, that." that is is the thing. Yeah, that is lovely. Yeah, that is the thing because they don't know. They may have been a late subscriber to a ticket, therefore they haven't had a chance to look at all the the a lot of PR that's been going out, all the show reels and, and all that sort of thing. So they want someone to just say, well, actually, if you're into abstract art, if you're into animal art, if you're into sculpture, if you're into uh, figurative art, here's the person, the person to go and see next. So I think sometimes people like that idea to be guided a little bit. Other mm. people just like the free for all of wandering around. And it is like wandering around a huge art gallery mm. uh, with yeah. all these different rooms with artists in, but under your own pace, and with the comfort of your own surroundings, you can put yourself in the chill out room. We have a chill out room. So you can put yourself in the chill out room, go and make a cup of tea, go and top up that glass of gin and tonic, come back for another mm -hmm. one session looking around another room. And artist. bring friends, bring yeah. friends, oh, make it a party. Make it a party. Any excuse to party at the moment, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And have friends around us. Well, I don't know about Cindy over there, but we can have friends around the house. <laughs> Sneak them in, Cindy, if you can't. <laughs> I should not tell the Australian government, you'll be fine. We, no, Hopefully so. by the weekend we'll be allowed to have at least one or two people come to our house. Uh, yeah, I've made some phone calls. I've yeah, made some calls. Yeah. Only, nobody's allowed to visit, but, you know, uh, one of uh, you But they can see each other on the, if they all come to the show you can come and meet this exactly is the, and this yeah. is the thing i've got friends in america and all over and we can all come together and meet at the blooms and go around together and have a chat because this is the thing like we're doing here chatting about things that's exactly what it's like they can sit and chat mm -hmm. and 
you know, and even go in there, sit in the breakout room and have a chat in there, you know. And the lovely thing is each artist has got a showreel running as well in their room. So if you don't want to take part in the conversation that's going on between an artist and a couple of others, you can just watch the showreel. You can move the screen a little bit so the showreel is bigger. Watch the showreel. Mm. If something on that showreel, you'll want to ask the artist about it. I can guarantee it for every what artist. What I would say is um, make sure you go to rooms where you sort of think, oh, I don't know if that's my cup of tea. Exactly. Because what I can say is all the artists have produced such amazing work, it'll gobsmack you, really. If you think, oh, actually, that's not for me, go and have a look because you will be really surprised because the work is amazing. Yeah. And that's the thing about art, it is surprising. It's constantly surprising you. Um, and that's why it's good for the soul to absorb all these different forms of art because you find, like I did and Steph did, we found the art that we didn't know we liked Yeah. because we've got a preconception, preconceived ideas Absolutely. of what abstract art is. Oh, it's that art that no one can explain what it is, but you write stories about your art. Mm. So, and that's, you know, you'll always find there's a connection you can make because of the way that an artist describes their work. I mean, Elisa yeah. over in Italy, she's a figurative artist and she writes, writes wonderful prose. And you can, you can, when you listen to it and you read her stories and then look at the art, everything sort of joins up, everything comes together. And this is so true. I think we're, we can be a little bit um, blinkered when it comes to what we think we like until we're opened up to all these new so it's an cool. ideal opportunity to have a little taster of them all, isn't yeah. it? Going and this, of course, too. is something that's happened because of the lockdown. So yeah. it's a good that's come out of the pandemic, is that the blooms are put on this show three times a year. We It wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have happened had it not been for the pandemic. So you've all got to look for the positives these days. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. huge positive that's come out of the pandemic. <laughs> but we're going to keep it going regardless because it's oh, yeah. such a yeah, good format of bringing um, people globally together mm. um, to do this. And it's it's accessible. I mean, we talk about accessibility this day. It's accessible to everybody. Yeah, and there's so. some wonderful guests that we come on. I will always remember the last Bloom show, this big bearded trucker who got his <laughs> phone down by his gear stick or whatever. <laughs> and hello. <laughs> and you put me in Cindy's room. Don't do the accent, please. Don't do the accent. Oh, oh my god, he doesn't sound anything like that. No, he doesn't sound anything like that. Should I warn Cindy <laughs> that this, this man <laughs> wants to go into a room? I tell you, it was Cindy's husband. <laughs> <laughs> like your new hat, Sammy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So and this is the sort of fun thing. So you get lots of different people and um, not only will you meet different artists, you'll meet different visitors. We need there. to, sorry, but, we just need to mention something we haven't mentioned, that Cindy has a Harley Davidson. Oh, okay. and Ryan, Harley two Harley Davidson. Davidsons. Two oh, Harley yeah. Davidsons. And that I mean, is just obscene. I, this is what also I love is that we've, we met each other all to do with our art. And then every now and then someone comes out with a little fact and we all go, what? <laughs> we hear all this and it's and cindy rides around and she's nothing she likes better than riding out on a summer's day is this not right cindy on your harley davidson you know correct it's, yeah that is absolutely correct yep incredible and yeah we haven't seen pictures yet well we have but you just haven't. Haven't. No, i haven't because I, <laughs> I, <was, laughs> I wasn't allowed to see them <laughs> and sammy what are you a black belt in Mixed martial arts. See, and here's See, me no, making no frilly here. Really? Yeah, no frilly here. No, no frilly. frilly. Yeah, and um, what? We are come on, come on, Wesley. What are you going to say about me? What's my? What's he your what? He doesn't even know, does you he? Can, what your um secret? You can you can from the other side of the kitchen. You can get a tea bag first time into a cup. It's the first <laughs> thing. When when we first met, when we first yeah. met, I'll tell you the story. Not really art related, <laughs> but it's a bit of fun. Um, <laughs> I, I do silly things, and I was in the kitchen. We hadn't met that long, had we? No. Um, I knew you'd moved in because while I was away, you moved your cat in yeah. first, so that yeah. you know, you'd moved in there. <laughs> um, and I was in the kitchen one day with a tea bag across the side of the kitchen, trying to get it into a cup, you know, the way that we do. And Steph said, "Give me the give me the tea bag," and I and I said to her, "Oh, here we are." A girly throw. Oh and my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Red flag to a ball. About, Red flag. About five yards away. Seriously, we've got a big kitchen. 
she lobbed this tea bag and it went right up in the air. And I thought, not a chance, straight into the cup. Little did I know then, she used to play basketball for England. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and that could be her kind of pain. So, it's like, do not, do not. So this whole girly frilly thing, he still hasn't learned. I'm just telling yeah. you guys. Oh, so, I, you know, I do love the reaction it gets. I know you do. I know you do. So <laughs> anybody who turns up to the show, you have our permission to verbally slap him. It's fine. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Have a go at Bosley. Yep. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I normally pay good money for that, but I, 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 I <laughs> oh, oh, Michelle is saying Cindy's room is where the party's at. It's absolutely C yes. Cindy always has a party in her I have room. Have a party, yes. yes. It will be Aussies. It will be seven p.m. Saturday night. There you go. <laughs> Join me seven p.m. Saturday night, Aussies. That was, that was a bit. That was a bit Aussie centric, wasn't it? Well, because oh, she's in yeah. Australia. You know, what, about, what about the rest of the other people? Can nobody else join it, or you have got to be an Aussie? I was just putting the time out for the Aussies to join me at that time. Because that won't be that time that for us. That will be 10 a.m. UK yeah. time, Not Saturday morning. Yeah. You've got to bring so, a, a, so a four pack is, of Foster's, have you? If, if you go into Cindy's room from the UK at 10 a.m., you've got your cup of tea and your toasted <laughs> tea cake. The Australians, they're going to be hammered. <laughs> going to be hammered <laughs> with the Barbie it's a going Saturday in the corner. Night. It's a Saturday night. Was it last time you were burning your old frames for a Barbie in the in your studio? <laughs> That's what we were doing last time. I seem to remember that cropped up. <laughs> and oh, oh, we've got another okay. fact here. Mac has just said she used to play rugby. See? Really? I oh, know. <laughs> there you go. Wow. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm getting all these these visions of the girls in their different. And Katie, of course, <laughs> Katie's a black belt in something or other, isn't she? Karate, yes. Is it? No, karate, I think Elisa was. Karate? I thought Elisa, Elisa. was karate. Elisa was oh. karate, wasn't she? And um, Katie was one of Taekwondo. The, I know. What, all I remember her saying was that she went up against some black belt who basically kicked her in the head several times or punched her in the face several times. And I think she still got a black belt or something, didn't she, because of it? Because her and her daughter did it together. And I can't remember which one. Is it? No, judo, you don't punch people in the face, do you? I can't remember which one it was. Don't ask me. <laughs> it sounded vicious anyway, but I okay, yeah. so Actually, this is one thing also that I find, you know, we, we were saying the other day about trying to get across sizes of our pieces of art but the other thing which because we've never met or we've met a couple of us have met but because we don't know I don't know how tall everybody is and every now and then I see a picture of I know like Anne-Marie and I go oh she's tall <laughs> I think what why would I but of course we only ever see this don't we of each other yeah. so it's like we have no idea how tall any of us are I should imagine Cindy's tall. quite tall how tall are you Cindy yeah. I'm reasonable I'm reasonable okay yeah Five, five, ten. Yeah, five, ten, five, eleven. Oh my oh, god! I didn't know yeah. that. Five, ten, no. five, ten. I don't know. I've probably shrunk a bit. Probably closer to five, ten now. Sammy, know. Sammy, four, eleven. <laughs> five, six. Same oh, as me. Five, six. Mm -hmm. Same as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheeky <laughs> yeah. devil. I know. And he's met you as well. Yeah. yeah. Little hobbit sat in his room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's sad. It's you I can't love it. In your hairy feet, can you? No. <laughs> okay, right. Well, that's. I think we've done enough, haven't we? That's, that's forty-three minutes. Forty-three well, I minutes. Think we've, I think we've shown everybody what it's like to come and join us. Oh, yes. it's fun. There's and we're sober. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely so this is th what yeah we do at this yeah, show we, we do. can talk about anything and everything including our art yeah. yes yes we love to talk about our art too <laughs> absolutely so it's, a, it's a social occasion as well as That's looking right. seriously yes. at art and appreciating art it's a chance to have a social evening out without going anywhere yeah absolutely talking about all and, and the thing is, you know, our art comes from so many different things. It's not like we don't just sit down, you know, there's a reason. And it's like Cindy talking about the animals and things and mm. like, and Cindy and uh, Sammy with all her diary. So there's lots of stories to be told. Yeah. And we're yeah. definitely the ones to tell them. <laughs> exactly. 
Okay, so I, everybody can see below where they need to jump on and register for tickets, which is theblooms.co.uk. And there's a big red button at the top of the page again. <laughs> so you can just press that button and get your tickets. And as we say, uh, it's the same um, link to all of the shows. So just pick a show and you can come to all of them or one of them. But yeah, but you need to be there, definitely. And we'd love yep. to see you all. So I certainly would. And okay. I just want to mention for the Aussies before we go, the showtimes here in Australian time is 4 a.m. Saturday, 7 p.m. Saturday, and 4 a.m. Sunday. So I'll see you Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> but the, but the That's confused four, the hell out of me, that has. But, but the 4 a.m. one, obviously, it's for, for three it goes hours. five, six, yeah, three hours. So they could, yeah. if they're early risers, they might they nip could. in. I could nip on to the end of it. Some people, you know, can't sleep. Yep, <laughs> exactly. I have, I have put that out there to my Aussie yeah. friends but. on the invite. But yeah, I, I yeah. would like Everything. to say though, if they come to the four a.m. one and they stay towards the end, then they can see Steph under the influence of her GNT and Prosecco mix. <laughs> you don't Very want to true. That. Very true, Sammy. You yeah. don't want to yeah, miss I that. Will. It's a sight. Towards the end of the show, it's amazing. <laughs> I even leave my own room to go there. <laughs> and I, just, I, I, I just wanted to say, please forgive any remarks that I made about the frilly, frilly blue. <laughs> He's scared. He's scared He's now scared that we're going to go offline and what the scared. repercussions are going to be. You <laughs> be, be very frightened. Be very, very frightened. <laughs> <laughs> to get mowed down by a Harley and beaten up by a mixed martial artist, and then just yeah. normal slapping by you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> but as everyone can see, so well deserved. Anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, it sounds like everybody. Um, oh, Michelle Grant said she used to play polo cross. Yes. You know, horse polo on the back of. Oh horses? yeah, yeah, yeah like they play yeah yeah oh wow yeah. okay yep. that's that's actually quite yeah whacking but yeah yeah good for you Michelle. wow oh god be tough. well number one you've got to be able to ride a horse <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you about that story if you come to my room anyway <laughs> <laughs> anyway we're gonna go now guys so um say goodbye to everybody and we will see everybody on either friday or saturday Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.